Hey Petals, I'm Eloise, your Blow Garden TV host. I hope you enjoyed the last video where the Blow Garden team told you what Blow Garden meant to them. It was such a cute video. But for today's video, we are going to be jumping into our how to series. So we have so many how to videos lined up for you guys, including how to dress out your pink curls, how to find your foundation match in heaven. But today I'm going to be showing you how to create the perfect winged liner for your eye shape. And I'm going to be showing you three ways to do it. So if you're struggling with your winged liner and you want to learn how to turn it out, then make sure you keep on watching. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I am going to do my winged liner without my complexion on. You can totally just go ahead and do your complexion and then start with your wing. But as a beginner, it's just so much easier to have no complexion on when you're practicing your winged liner. I'm going to show you how to do a winged liner with eyeshadow, with a pencil and with a liquid pen liner. So if you prefer gel, you can go ahead and do that. But I personally find those three options the easiest to conquer your winged liner. I have also gone ahead and primed my eyelid with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. This just really, really helps to give your eyeliner some longevity, especially if you have oilier eyelids, you really need that base on your eyelid so that your eyeliner doesn't transfer up onto your lid and I've also just buffed some neutral eyeshadow into the socket of my eye because we're doing more of a winged liner focused look today I don't want to just have wing liner I want a little bit of definition in my crease just so that it gives the illusion of bigger wider eyes so it entirely depends on your preference of how long you do your winged liner and how thick you do your winged liner. For today, I'm just gonna do something quite small just so that you can really see the technique that I use. Another thing that you need to determine is where you wanna start. You can totally start from the inner corner and go all the way to the outer corner or you can start halfway, it's entirely up to you. Sometimes I just like to do a little corner wing, that's quite, quite a nice way to just accentuate your eyes and give your eyes more of an arm and lift. And for the first technique, I'm gonna show you how to do a wings liner with eyeshadow. So all you want is just any old black or brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna go for brown today. And you're also gonna want a little handheld mirror. You can just use a mirror that's in a palette that you've got or just a handheld mirror that you've got. And I've just got this Too Faced Born This Way palette. And I'm gonna take this really rich chocolatey brown here and an angled brush like this. It's also quite thin. I'm gonna load my brush up like so. And the first thing I like to do is line my lashes. I'm just gently closing my eyes, not screwing it up like this. Gently closing and I'm pressing that eyeshadow on the lash line, making sure to get really close to those lashes. We don't want any gaps at all. And I'm probably gonna go pretty much right to the end, making sure that the brush is still in this direction. You're gonna really struggle if it's the other way and you're doing this. So make sure it's the longer end towards your nose and it will be the other way when you do the other eye. So make sure the long side of the bristles is always closest to your nose. So all I've done is pressed that shadow rather than sweeping it. We're gonna sweep when obviously we do our liquid and our pencil, um, but for eyeshadow, you can just press it on and that's gonna make it so much easier for you to get that line really neat. So I like to get lining my lash line out of the way and then we can focus on the wing. But if you prefer to get the hard bit out of the way and then go on to the lash line, you can totally do that as well, but this is just the way I do it. So now we're gonna focus on the wing portion. So what you wanna do is look straight forward into your mirror as if your waterline was to continue that is the angle the all wings liner is gonna be. So for this portion, we are gonna have our eyes open and looking straight forward into a mirror. But you basically just want to elongate that waterline angle like that. Doesn't have to be neat at this point. So my brush was still with the long bristles towards my nose. I'm now gonna flip it around so that the long bristles are towards my ear. I'm just gonna pop my brush halfway on that line and drag it, or you can stamp it, back in to your lash line liner. And then if you've got any jaggedy bits where you need to sort of clean them up a little bit, just go over the top, pressing that eyeshadow in, and then you can just use the absolute tip of this brush where it's the long bristles, 
and you can just use that with the smallest amount of pressure just to make that edge just a little bit softer. And that is our eyeshadow winged liner. If you're determined to want to do a liquid liner, this is a really nice way of mapping out your wing and then going over the top with your liquid liner. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So it's exactly the same method, but just with a pen. So this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. It's got a really, really fine bristle tip rather than a felt tip. And this is gonna give you such precision. And all I'm gonna do is go over the top of that eyeshadow eyeliner. So with a pen, you have to really think about how you're holding it the same way we did with our angled brush. Again, I'm just gonna line my lash line and I'm gonna hold my pen this way rather than this way. So the pointy end is towards my inner corner and I'm gonna hold it flat on its side. Rather than like this, that's gonna create a really wobbly line. Holding it flat like this is gonna make it really, really sharp. And you can kind of just do it in one swift movement and then you can go back in and neaten it up if you need to. And make sure you get really close to those lashes so there's no gaps. And having that eyeshadow underneath just makes that portion so, so much easier. So definitely, if you're a beginner, try the eyeshadow technique first and then go over the top with a liquid. So now that I'm happy with the thickness and the sharpness of my lash line liner, we're gonna go into the wing portion. So the exact same technique, we're following the waterline as if it was to continue, but obviously we've got that guide there with the eyeshadow. So again, I'm gonna be holding the tip towards my nose rather than this way, and I'm gonna follow that line that we already made. And as I get to the very end of our eyeliner, I'm taking the pressure off the brush so that you get a really nice fine point. And then I'm gonna change the angle of my pen. So I'm gonna point the bristles towards the ear and go from almost the tip of the eyeliner back into the lash line liner. So you make this little triangle and then all you need to do is fill it in. I think that's the best my eyeliner's ever gone and I was so scared because I knew I had to teach you guys today. And usually when I teach, everything goes wrong. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how that has come out. If you have completely mucked it up, which I was really scared that I was gonna do. All I like to do is take a cotton bud with anything liquid basically, so you could use a little bit of facial mist or um, a setting spray, or soak it in some micellar water. I would just hold my eye a little bit taut and just go right underneath and clean up anywhere that you would need to. And then you can always go back in with the pen if you need to clean it up. You can also use concealer on a really, really flat brush and that's gonna help sharpen it up as well. So on this eye, I'm just gonna quickly jump off camera, pop some primer and a little bit of eyeshadow on and I'll show you how to do the pencil liner. Okay, so I'm back and I'm ready with this eye. So for this look, you can take absolutely any pencil that you want, any color. I'm just gonna be taking a brown just so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is the MAC pencil in the shade Coffee. It's a really, really nice like neutral brown. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. Quite close to a black, so it's a really nice shade to use for a liner. You can totally just go and use a blue, a green, whatever you have, honestly, go crazy. So I'm gonna be holding the pencil on the side and running that along the lash line. And then I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is quite a flexible flat brush, so it's not like a synthetic flat brush where it's too flat. It's still got a little bit of movement in it and a little bit of blendability with it as well. So what I'm gonna do is take this flat brush, you could use a little pencil brush as well actually. This one's dirty, but you could use a little pencil brush like that, that would be great. So all I'm gonna do is go side to side and start to smudge this along the lash line. I often do a smoky wing because I just love the effect of it and you don't have to be too neat with it. It's a really nice way to start introducing winged liner into your makeup routine. Whatever I've picked up on my brush from smudging this, I'm gonna pop into my inner corner so it's really nice and soft. There's not, not much definition in there, just a little bit of color. I'm just gonna continue to softly smoke that. And now that we are kind of really quite soft on the lash line, we can start to do the wing. But again, I'm gonna do the same angle as my waterline. That is the angle that we're gonna go in for our winged liner. 
And again, I'm doing this with my eyes open. There's no point in doing your angle with your eyes closed because when your eyes open, the wing could be completely distorted, especially if you have a slightly hooded eyelid like I do in this outer corner. So with my eyes open, I'm gonna do my angle. And then because that edge there is really quite harsh, I'm gonna take my finger and just blend it until you can barely see it and then just go back in till you're happy. A liner like this almost gives that shadowing effect to your eye, so it really does look like you're changing the shape of your eye, whereas this is very obvious that you've got a winged liner on. Um, I really like doing this pencil liner because it is just so soft and almost just like not there, but obviously it is there. And then just to make sure it stays in place, you can always set it with an eyeshadow. So actually I might go in with a slightly shimmery eyeshadow because I think that'll look really pretty. Personally, that is my favorite kind of liner because it just looks so soft and just effortless. I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. But that is pretty much the techniques that I would use to do a winged liner. And the way that you're gonna get the perfect wing liner shape for you is to always follow the angle of your waterline and you can't go wrong from there. So I would definitely recommend practicing your winged liner when you're not going out or in the evening when you're about to take your makeup off anyway. That's a really, really good time to practice these kinds of things because you're just gonna wash it off in five, 10 minutes anyway, depending on how long it takes for you to conquer your winged liner. So I'm gonna go off camera, even up my eyes, finish up the rest of my makeup and then show you the finished look. So I've evened up both sides and I've decided to go for a smoky pencil liner that starts halfway so that we get that real almond shape lift to the eye. I absolutely love the way that this looks. So I hope that you picked up some tips and tricks on how to get the perfect wing liner for your eye shape. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. But until next time, petals, we'll see you soon. Todd Latte, Freda Key. Todd Latte, Freda Key.